Good day, dear friends. In this video, I am excited to demonstrate the general admin dashboard of the Dobele food delivery application for iOS and Android. As you may know, the Dobele project comprises four applications, a customer app, a courier app, a restaurant app, and what we will focus on today, the admin dashboard for managing all applications and the overall business. The dashboard is implemented in Flutterflow and designed for both web and desktop versions. You are currently viewing it in a browser, but with just a click of a button, we can switch to the desktop version and vice versa. So let's proceed with the desktop interface for this demonstration. Upon logging into the general admin dashboard, we land on an intermediary page where you can see all registered administrators. Each has their own access rights, usernames, and passwords. Let's log in as a super admin because I have full access and can show you everything. After successful authentication, we arrive at the main page where you can see a Google map pinpointing all the registered restaurants in the city. On the right side, there is a statistics panel showing the number of registered restaurants, users, products, and total orders sold. On the left side, there is a large menu that can be minimized by clicking a button in the upper right corner if needed. Following the dashboard, we have the profile section where all the business owner's personal information is displayed. Next, we move to the users section. By clicking on the drop down, we select administrators and proceed to the administrators page. Here, we can register new admins, grant access rights, or modify the access rights of existing admins. In this section, there's a users segment where we see all registered users, i.e. the customers, and can review their personal data. The next section is food sellers. In the drop-down menu, select Settings. On this page, you can edit sections that will reflect changes in the apps, like food types. You see on the left side of the screen, a phone screenshot indicating where these buttons and icons are placed in the app, and any changes here will automatically update in the app in real time. We can delete, edit, or adjust anything as desired here. The Cuisines Management section allows us to input or adjust different cuisines and see where they are placed in the app. Next is the Additional Filters section. These are filters through which customers find products and restaurants. We can edit icons or add new filters here. Then, the Food Category section allows us to introduce new categories, adjust existing ones, or pause them in the apps. The restaurant fee section is where the main administrator decides and inputs the percentage to be charged from each restaurant. Review settings. Here, the lower limit of review scores is set. If a restaurant falls below this threshold, it will automatically be suspended in the system due to poor quality. The tax section. Here you input the tax rate for your country, and the system automatically adds the tax to the product price. If you set it to zero, no tax will be applied. Next, the food sellers list section lists all the restaurants registered in the system. Clicking on the edit button, you can enter a restaurant's page to make corrections, approve it, 
or remove it from the system if necessary. The Food Seller's O Amount section displays lists of all restaurants that have requested money withdrawals. We can approve these requests and transfer the requested amounts or reject them for specific reasons. Next, the Driver's section. In the drop-down menu, select Settings to go to the Driver's Settings page. Here, in the Delivery Fee section, we establish criteria for how drivers will earn, inputting prices per kilometer or mile, for delivery, and for product pickup, among others. Manage general city location. Here, we specify the cities where your business will operate. Manage city region location. This special section requires you to list all regions where restaurants are registered. Drivers will select their working region from this list, which is vital for the business's logistics. Vehicle types. Enter the types of vehicles that are permitted to operate in the system. In the failure management section, enter all possible types of failures so that drivers can specify or choose why they refuse to deliver a product. They can be various, and it's good to enter them in sufficient numbers. You can see where they are reflected in the app. Next, the review settings. Similar to restaurants, you set a lower limit after which a driver's work may be suspended for poor delivery quality. The tax section. Here you input the tax rate for your country, and the system automatically adds the tax to the product price. If you set it to zero, no tax will be applied. Lastly, the list of drivers section lists all registered drivers. By clicking on the edit button at the end of the list, you can enter a driver's account to review their information, such as personal details, driver's license, and vehicle information. Based on correct and accurate information, you can approve a driver in the system or reject them for improper or incorrect input. You can also review all their completed orders and customer reviews. The driver's O amount section works similarly to the restaurant's section. Here, all drivers who have requested money withdrawals are listed, and we can either approve or deny these requests and pay the requested amounts. The last major section, Sales, contains all sales and statistics about earnings. Here you can see how much the restaurants have earned, how much the drivers have made, how much tax has been collected, and what fees remain for us as a business. You can view each invoice, who the buyer and the seller were, and more.
The final section, Manage Logistics, controls all logistics from here. The administrator sees how many restaurants are registered in each city area and how many drivers are working there. If there are too few drivers and we need to attract more, we can encourage them by offering bonuses in areas that need drivers. It's easy to understand as everything is made as simple as possible for clarity. That's all I wanted to share about the general admin dashboard. If you have any questions, please write to us and we will strive to respond as quickly as possible. We recommend our product as it is one of the best on the market today. Thank you again for your attention and we wish you the best.